Welcome back guys, and here it is, time to climb Lambda 2, finally. Shit, what was that? <laughs> Stick. Right, here we go, hold to climb. Here we are, okay. Back into the absolute unknown. Now, spear at the ready. Oh wow, straight away we found Stonehenge, by the looks of it. Oh wow, music's changed big time. Let's hold. Found the Lambda location, here we go. Mia, I found the Lambda location, and it looks nothing like our tent. Then what is it? Want to reply? Uh, it's a place of worship. Yeah, it looks like a place of worship. With the Yabawaka and Bai Bai Huasca. The map pointed to this place. Maybe if you find its owner, you'll learn how to get out of there. You just have to keep going. I don't know if I can make it. And it took me so long to get here. You can make it. I'm here with you, aren't I? And I'll be with you every step of the way. Just stay strong for me. I will. I promise. Okay. So I still think that she is probably a figment of our imagination. Uh, let's drop that. Whoops. That one there and pick that one up there. Uh, yeah, seems about right. Um, and then we've got uh, some modern air relief here. Oh, hang on a minute. I've completely... No, I'm not. <laughs> I was going to say I'm completely out of bandages. Let's just craft. Uh, no, let's. Oh, bollocks. What have I just done there? Molinera flowers, fibre. Didn't want to do that. Destroy that. Sugar. Right. Here we are then. Let's see first off what is along this way. I should slow this down a, just a touch here. Map, new location. So we've got the Stonehenge. Uh, bone. Leaf bed. Just looking for scorpions or something here. Uh, what the hell is that? That's a coconut ball. Coconut ball there too. Okay. Plenty of bones here. Oh, there's a couple of bones. Uh, not much else. Uh, let's look. I guess up here. There's kind of two directions. What have we got here? We're facing south. Or we can go east. So we've got south. Doesn't look like it's going to go too far. East is over here. Um, let's just check out this location just quickly, just to rule anything out. This is probably where we get bit by a snake or something. Just rule any little map area out or anything with any resources that we might need. Uh, there's something on the ground here. Gotta be careful here. Uh, what are those crazy mushrooms? No idea what the hell to do with that. Uh, ah. Let's... Oh, I found a machete, by the way. Forgot to mention that. <laughs> this enormous machete. Um, why can't I just... Use this... Choose the machete, I guess. So that's some of the leaves that we need for the ritual because there's another ball there so I'm thinking do we have to do another ritual at some point uh, what's the bamboo here oh look another door this rock again Mia was right about the painting there's only one way uh oh. Can't we get high? Um, I think we're... What have we found? There's the door. Right, okay, so yeah, there was literally only one way to go. Let's do it then. Let's get absolutely off our face again. Um, and break that door through. <laughs> In our... Uh, trying to think of the word I'm looking for. Now, what is it? Hallucination? 
I guess. Uh, I need... Oh, I need um, to find one of the really, really big trees that will have the leaf on. And I presume I also need to fight, make a fire. Um, so let's do that. And I will come back to you once we are ready. Uh, yeah, make and drink another ayahuasca. There we go. So I will come back to you guys when we found or we're ready to take the uh, ayahuasca. Right guys, we are back. That has been a bit of a faff because I had to go back through there <laughs> to go back into the original area. Was attacked by a jaguar not long after we came through. Cooked and ate the jaguar and I had to go and find the um, or oh, the banis, banisteris or something it's called. Um, the long thick rope basically. I couldn't find it in here. That's why I went had to go back through. Um, we are loaded up now on monster shrooms as well which is great. But let's go for the ayahuasca and see what happens. There's the kid again. Or tea over there. Right, follow. Whoa, what did he say? He said, Where's your mum? Is that what he said? Right, more butterflies here. Oh, back through there. Okay, here we go. So, this is what the stone door was. Going after him as fast as we can. Uh, trying to keep a look on anything that we might have missed. Right, here we go. Do the passage. Right, it's definitely tripping now. Here we go. We are hallucinating big time. Uh, whoa, parrots. Um, don't want to fall down there, do we? Jesus Christ, everything's. Oh, they're frozen. What the hell was that? Oh my god, is this... This bridge is forming right in front of us. Well, that kid's got a bit of a weird laugh, if I'm honest with you. <laughs> bit unnerving. Right, here we go. This way. Another bridge for us? Yeah. Are we crossing over the... Oh, shit! Okay, here we go. Oh, what the hell is this? Look at this. Nothing in there. Sounds like there's something behind us. Um, it's like a totally modern doorway. Caution, automatic door. Push button to activate. Higgins. Can we... Oh, door used. There we go. Atmospheric music. Is this oh, whoa. my office? Book page. Herbs here. Oh, look. The monster shroom. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, let's not read through all of that. Are these... Is, is this the book that he wrote? Because he wrote a book, didn't he? Oh, there we go. Uh, Banis, Banisteriopsis. I was fairly close, I like to think. I <laughs> uh, can't read that one. Oh, look at that dog. Oh, look at that cutie. He's nice. Note. Oh. Distribution characteristics. How Indians consume it. Effect on people. Talk more about with Mia. Did I write about this? Uh, what about this introduction? Hmm. Okay. Uh, oh, memory stick? 
Can't get it. Uh, something a little... Little biodome there. Autographs everywhere. Whoa, shit. Uh, printer. There's, like, wood everywhere mingled in with our office, isn't it? Surely we can get this memory stick. No? Uh, can't go there. Have I missed something on the notes? Draws. Oh no, they've left their dog behind. Oh, look at that. Whoa. That's horrible. I don't... Have I missed something? Oh no, hang on. I can just go around. Uh... Book page, we've got that one. Do I have to do that to actually move it to be red? Got that one. Okay, what have I missed here? Post-it notes, no. And the pupper. If I was this far away from my... Well, I wouldn't be this far away from my dog, just put it that way. <laughs> I would hate to be that far away from my dog. He's an old boy now. Not a cat and L's chance would I go to the Amazon. Uh, do we go back out again? The store looks different. Oh yeah, here we go. This looks different again. I was expecting something to be in the office, you know, for us to learn about or it would give us an extra clue. Is this our living room here? Front room? The book was quite good, but people aren't interested in lost tribes, deforestation, or global warming. We don't think about such things until it's too late. That sounds like Mia. Spirits of Amazonia. Okay, so that's his book. Boxes and bo bloody hell, boxes and boxes and boxes. Of books. It's like an Amazon storeroom here. Uh, Journey to the Heart of the Jungle. Dr. Jake Higgins takes the readers on a fascinating journey into the tropical forests of South America. Far away from technological progress, modern medicine, and the comforts of civilization, found the lost tribe of the Yabawaka. Although this primitive people lives exactly the way their ancestors did hundreds of years ago, its members are in great health and shape and can boast high immunity to all kinds of sicknesses. Uh, can modern man leave behind the comforts of civilization? Start living in harmony with nature. Hmm. Okay. Letter. This could be the clue. Oh, whoa. Following your failure to pay the amount of seventy thousand dollars owed on the loan you raised, I'm requesting you pay the aforementioned amount within thirty days of this receipt. If the outstanding amount is not paid within the prescribed period. Interest will be charged, and a case will be brought to court for which you will be charged, and the cost of court proceedings. Guards, M. Kimak. M being Mia? Maybe. Could be wrong. Invoice. Oh, whoa, pharmacy. Oh, no, look. Pa patient Mia Higgins. Two hundred thousand dollars for medical treatment. Wow. Look at all this. I'm trying to figure out radiology, endoscopy, CT scan, MRI. Has she got has she got a potential brain tumour or something like that, maybe? Dear Dr. Higgins, since I didn't receive any response from you to my previous letter. I've allowed myself to write to you again. As mentioned in the previous letter, Omalu Corp is interested in several hypotheses proposed in your book. Namely, you suggest that the Indians have access to exceptionally efficient medicinal substances, 
but unfortunately you do not share any details. Should you provide us with specifics, Omelu Corp is willing to invest a substantial amount of money to study these substances. I understand that you may be hesitant about this collaboration, but please consider how many people your discovery would help. We would be able to help with your help. Sorry, we would be able, with your help, to save patients who currently have no chance of survival. You are in a difficult situation yourself, therefore you should understand the worth of at least trying to find new solutions. We can help each other and save many lives. On behalf of Omelu Corp, I would like to propose a meeting, preferably at the head office of our company. Should you agree to consult with us on this matter, the company shall cover all your travel expenses. I believe we could all benefit from this collaboration. They only care about themselves until tragedy strikes. People just don't care. It wasn't any different this time. No one took an interest in them. Unless there was some money to be made. Interest in them as in the tribalists? Looks like another one of those like gifts in the glass. We saw one in the office. Uh, well... Uh, Dr. Higgins, I have read your book and I am mortified to say that no self-respecting scientist would ever write something like this. There are few communities left in the world that develop far away from the so-called benefits of technology, living in harmony with nature and following all traditions. They have every right to go their own way. Because of you, the Yabawaka have lost this opportunity. Now, they will be bombarded with attention from scientists, journalists or corporations aiming for financial gain. Their culture will become contaminated and we cannot even estimate the level to which their natural path of development and way of life will be disrupted. I find it obvious that you two have no respect whatsoever for their exceptional culture and you are simply taking advantage of the Yabawaka to win fame and fortune. What is worse, you are encouraging others to do the same. The tribe is slowly becoming something between a natural curiosity and the latest fad of pop medicine. This is disgusting and you should be ashamed of what you have done to these people. Subsequent education expeditions and disturbances will bring more harm than good to the tribe. I am warning you, leave the Yabawaka tribe alone, where you may face grave consequences. I offer no regards. Agnes Dabrowski, X. Hmm. I wonder what she's got to do with the tribe, if anything. No wonder he's 700 grand in debt if he's got all these books here. Obviously he's paid 200 k for his wife's medical care, but still, Jesus Christ. You think I'm selfish just like everyone else, don't you? Maybe you're right. Maybe I should have just given up. What happened? Is this Mia? Why are you here? I know what drove us, but it doesn't justify anything. If not for me, you wouldn't have to go back to the jungle. Patient card. Here we go. Malignant tumor of the left lung. Metastatic change in the right lung. Metastatic changes in the lymph nodes located near the tracheal bifurcation. There's a lot of long words here. Underlying diseases and complications. Persistent cough and hep hepatitis. I th I'm not even going to try that. Lesions in the aorta. Hypertension. Hypothyroidism. Degenerative changes in the spine. Pain in left shoulder. Uh, tumorous infiltration segments 7, 9 and 10 of the left lung dimensions of 60 by 65 by 48 a lump with a diameter of 8 millimeters in segments 6 and 7 of the right lung lymph nodes enlarged to 14 millimeter trachea and main bronchi normal cancer diagnosis based on the examination of material collected during lung tumor biopsy Injection or infusion of an anti-cancer chemotherapeutic agent as part of palliative chemotherapy. Further palliative treatment recommended. So hang on a minute, palliative care is that that end of life? You speak to me. Yeah, here we go. Mia, I, I, I didn't know. Oh, 
here we go, we're back. Oh, hang on a minute, radio. Uh, we've got dialogue here as well. Uh, why didn't you tell me you were sick? Yeah, I... I drank another dose of ayahuasca and... But why didn't you tell me you were sick? Is that why we were here? Yabawaka have a remedy and we were going to get it for you? If only it was that simple. I would have told you already. Then why don't you just do it? I'm afraid you won't get back to me and all I want is for you to be safe. Whatever it is, Mia, please tell me. Please, Jake, just keep going. If you can't make it, neither can I. Let's just not bring this up again until you're safe, okay? I don't understand any of it, but I know I have to find you. Let's just focus on that, please. Well, let's go through this passageway now, then, eh? Uh, we've got plenty of stuff in the notebook here. Uh... Yeah. Okay. Um, if it's memories, why, why didn't he know that she was sick? So the ayahuasca is meant to bring memories back. Oh look, here we go. This is where we were walking. Uh, definitely don't want to fall down there. Look at all these log bridges here. Get over this one. They say that it's memories, but then it's something that he doesn't even know about. So, oh shit. Whoa. Let's keep one away from that. Absolutely bloody enormous thing. I'm surprised that didn't bite us. It's as though the visions are like revealing extra part, like extra things to him. Uh, is that a croc? Yeah. Got a machete, worst case. Uh, but let's crouch down here. Oh. Oh, headshot. Oh, I missed that one. Second headshot, yes. Uh, right. I don't know if I'm will run out of carry weight doing this, but sod it, let's go for it. Yeah, oh god, I've gone way over. Um Black Cayman meat, black ca oh look at this. Any parasite shroom destroy. Uh, I mean, that's not really safe, is it? <laughs> Get rid of all that. Uh, plank, just drop that for now. I'll have to drop a couple of bones here, as always. Mm. Right, okay. I'm going to come back for them bones because I do want to try and figure out... Oh, wow, look at all this. What the hell? Right, this just absolutely cannot be safe. <laughs> Surely. <laughs> uh, I need a drink before I do anything. Sorry, not a drink. I need to wash myself. This is extremely dangerous. Surely. Well, we've just seen a croc. There must be more crocs, you would think. Okay. Uh, shit. Oh, one of them frogs just... Phew, that was so close. Uh, right, okay. Let's just get up here. And let's see where the hell we can actually go. 
Probably have me spear out here. Uh, something there. I mean, we are way off the map now, aren't we? We're like, we've gone through here, haven't we? Uh, no, that's just not safe whatsoever, surely, is it, to go into the water like that? Just keep navigating round. Try and flank the uh, crocodiles. <laughs> I feel like I want to get to a safe place to to rest, safe place to save as well. Oh look, there's something over there. Is this something? Is this a crossing? Uh, yes, it kind of is. This is dangerous. Let me... Sh oh, sugar. Hang on a minute. Right, I think what we might have to do is jump up here. Oh, I'm taking a big risk here. Uh, let's take that out. Hopefully that will get rid of all the wasps. Oh, it does. Okay, no crocs. Oh wow, can I get some honey? Honey, nice. Checking for crocs. Let's go. <coughs> what on earth was that? Dialogue. I found a camp. I found a camp. It looks abandoned, but clearly someone's been living here for a long time. Any idea who it might have been? Well, I did read somewhere that a few years back, an Englishman walked the entire length of the Amazon River, and it took him over two years. <sighs> Worlds full of passionate people. Yeah, I know. But something here doesn't add up. It looks as if they just disappeared. Like, leaving all their gear? That just doesn't make sense. That is strange. But maybe it's a good thing. You can just grab what you need. Yeah. Doesn't look like anybody will be needing any of that. Okay, guys. We have got this camp to explore. There is... Look at this. What in God's name? The size of that. We've got this camp to explore in a little bit more detail. Let's do that in the next episode. I'm going to find somewhere to rest, somewhere to save. There must be somewhere along here. Um, but guys, as always, hope you enjoyed this one. Drop a like if you did. Anything I've missed, as always, please let me know in the comments. I do miss stuff as we go. And I am getting some really helpful comments from you. So I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Uh, let me know if I have missed something. And as always, if you don't already subscribe, I'd be well, extremely grateful if you could do so. But guys, I'll catch you in the next one. See you then.